नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू सीआईटी एंड सीआरटीज लाइव फोन एंड इंटरैक्टिव प्रोग्राम मैं हूं तन्वी खुराना और साइंस की इस क्लास में आप सभी का स्वागत है नवी कक्षा के सभी छात्र इस वक्त हमारे साथ जुड़ सकते हैं पीएमई विद्या चैनल नंबर 9 के साथ और आज जिस विषय पर हम बातचीत करने वाले हैं वो है डाइवर्सिटी इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इससे जुड़े अगर आपके पास कोई भी सवाल है तो आप हमें ईमेल भी कर सकते हैं हमारा ईमेल आईडी है dth.class9@cit.nic.in इस विषय पर चर्चा करने के लिए हमारे साथ एक मेहमान मौजूद है आइए आपका परिचय उनसे करवाते हैं हमारे साथ है सुशील कुमार जी स्वागत है सर आपका जी मैम नमस्कार नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू गुड आफ्टरनून टू यू टू सर Let me introduce you to our viewers, sir. Sir is a PGT in biology from Kendriya Vidyalaya, Ali Ganj, Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, and we have got a lot to discuss regarding diversity in living organisms. Like I said, if you have any questions, any queries, please feel free to reach out to us. You can even call us on our number, which is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. So let's begin this conversation without wasting any more time. And uh, my first question to sir would be the basic. question like uh, sir why is biodiversity important for the living organisms yes ma'am so before going to your question hmm. i would like to uh, discuss with our students some fact uh, my students have you ever thought of the multitude of life form that surround us each organism is different from the other to a lesser or greater extent so uh, i am giving you one activity uh, during our uh, interactive session so uh, consider yourself and a friend or consider yourself with your sister or with your sibling so are you both of the same height does your nose look exactly like your friend's nose or is your hand span the same as your friend is so however if we were to compare ourselves and our friend with a monkey what would we say so obviously we and our friend have a lot in common when we compare ourselves with a monkey or cow so there are lot of difference so uh, now think of the different form in which life occurs on the earth as ma'am has Question to me: What is biodiversity? So the term biodiversity consists of two: bio plus diversity. Means diverse form of living life that is found on the earth constitute the diversity. On one hand, we have microscopic bacteria of a few micrometer in size, while on the other hand, we have blue whale. and red wood tree as well as elephant so uh, these are the big uh, plant uh, like uh, uh, red wood tree is a very big plant eucalyptus is very long plant and on the other hand there are microscopic algae are found in the ocean in the sea so uh, uh, there are different or diverse form of the life hum keh sakte hain samudra mein पाए जाने वाली माइक्रोस्कोपिक अति सूक्ष्म काई से लेके बड़े बड़े विशाल दरख्तों तक और बड़े बड़े विशाल जानवरों तक जैसे ब्लू वेल या फिर लैंड पे पाए जाने वाला बड़ा एनिमल जैसे हम एलिफेंट कहते हैं यह सब बायोडाइवर्सिटी हमारा बनाता है फ्रेंड्स यू विल बी एबल टू सी इन द स्लाइड सो दे आर यू विल बी एबल टू सी दैट दे आर आर डिफरेंट फॉर्म ऑफ दी Uh, life that is sustaining on our earth so uh, uh, there is a uh, there, there is a, a, a definite interaction is found between uh, each organism or that is why it is said that uh, biodiversity is very important for we people uh, like uh, 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 as uh, i have already discussed that uh, it is a diverse form of the life and due to biodiversity uh, there is ecological balance occurs uh, according to the international union of conservation of nature that is iucn so uh, our country india 
is supposed to be the mega diverse country uh, because in the world there are eight mega diverse country and india also has three hot, hot spot uh, that is the rich biodiversity uh, region so uh, uh, in the group in the uh, in, in the earth there are the eight uh, rich biodiversity region that is known as hot spot uh, as our country is concerned so our country accounts for 7 to 8% of record of biodiversity or on the other hand if we discuss about the total area means uh, the if we compare with the area of the world so we have only 2.4 percent of the uh, area but at the age the biodiversity is concerned so we account for 7 to 8 percent of our recorded species that is why our country is also uh, one of the mega diverse country in the world it is the rough estimate that there are about 10 million species uh, the, uh, these species are found on the planets and uh, it is it is been reported that there are the region which are warm and humid means tropical region of the earth अगर हम देखें उसको भौगोलिक दृष्टि से देखें तो ऐसे रीजन जो कैंसर एंड ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन के आसपास हैं, सो दो रीजन आर रिच इन डाइवर्सिटी दैट इज वाई दीज रीजन इज कॉल्ड एज रीजन ऑफ मेगा डाइवर्सिटी सो इफ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मेगा डाइवर्सिटी रीजन ऑन द प्लेनेट सो इट इज बीन रिपोर्टेड दैट more than half of biodiversity is concentrated in a few countries like Brazil. Students, you have heard about the Amazon rainforest of Brazil. So uh, that is why the Brazil accounts for a lot of biodiversity. Due to the, uh, there is the uh, Amazon rainforest or tropical rainforest are found, which are supposed to be the lungs of the planet. Dharti ke hum phepre bhi ene kehti. Uh, there is the uh, Colombia, uh, there is the Equator, Peru, Mexico, Jere, Madagascar, Australia, China, and our country, India, Indonesia, and Malaysia. So these are the region of the mega diversity, means these region have rich, rich biodiversity. So uh, uh, you uh, now student, you will be able to understand that there are the diverse form of the life is found. And uh, scientists uh, uh, consider that uh, uh, do, uh, these different form of the life, first of all, should be uh, classified in a systematic way. So, uh, if classification system is concerned, so uh, there are some of the biologists. Uh, there is a one biologist I would like to discuss his contribution. That is known as name of the biologist is. Hackel, I missed Hackel. Another one is the Robert Whitaker, and another one is the Carl Woji. Except uh, these uh, biologists, there are some other biologists like uh, Copeland, like uh, Carl von Linnaeus. So they have also contributed. But I missed Hackel, Robert Whitaker, and Carl Woji have tried to classify all living organisms into broad categories called kingdom. So the classification of Whitaker proposed had the five kingdom, Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Planti, and Animalia. So and is widely used in, uh, in the world. So these groups are formed on the basis of their cell structure, mode and source of nutrition, and body organization. The modification of what done by Voje, uh, Carl Voje introduced uh, by dividing the monera into archibacteria and eubacteria is also in the huge. So that is known as six kingdom classification. So basically Robert Whitaker have proposed, has proposed the five kingdom classification and the base of classifying the different organism is the cell structure mode and source of nutrition 
एंड बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दिस इज नोन एज फाइव किंगडम्स क्लासिफिकेशन सो माय स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सी इन दिस स्लाइड देर आर सो मेनी साइंटिस्ट एंड हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ द दैट इज द क्लासिफिकेशन इज presented in this slide so there is the linnaeus uh, there is the heckel there is the chaton there is the copeland there is the rh vetkar uh, which uh, who is responsible for propose, uh, proposing of the five kingdom system of classification and karl woge uh, that uh, he has uh, proposed the uh, or modified the five kingdom system of the classification so uh, now you will be able to see that uh, so many scientists had contributed in the classification so uh, as the hierarchy of the classification or group is concerned so you will be able to see uh, the hierarchy hierarchy is like this uh, there is the smallest unit of the classification that is known as species so you will be able to see that it the species is the smallest and uh, it is the basic unit of the classification so a uh, 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 similar group of the species form the genus and similar genus form the family and family together form the order or uh, order together form the class and uh, classes together from the phylum and phylum together leap from the kingdom so phylum term being used in case of the uh, animals and division term being used in case of the classification of the plant so uh, you will be able to see that uh, this is the hierarchy of the classification group and uh, in this group uh, you will be able to see that is species is the smallest unit so uh, if we we want to uh, define the species then the definition of the species is the smallest group of organism classified which can interbreed with each other to produce fertile offspring is known as species so uh, in this slide you will be able to see uh i have given you the classification of the red fox that is the vulpus vulpus so uh, red fox vulpus vulpus is kept in the kingdom animalia phylum choidata class mammalia order carnivora family canidae genus vulpus and species vulpus vulpus so uh friends this is the hierarchy of the classification and science of classification is known as taxonomy basically taxonomy is made up of two word one is known as taxis and another word is known as nomus so taxis means arrangement and nomus or nomology is known as law so the literal meaning of the taxonomy is law of arrangement so the science of classification is known as taxonomy so let us friend move to the next topic so uh, before going to the further discussion i would like to give some brief contribution of the great scientist known as carolus linnaeus carolus linnaeus was the great scientist in 1731 he first published his book that is known as systema natura in 1753 he published species plantarum he developed binomial naming nomenclature system in 1753 that is why he is known as father of taxonomy so students whenever a question being asked in examination please give the name of the father of taxonomy then the answer will be the carolus linnaeus so carolus linnaeus actually proposed the the nomenclature system that is known as binomial system of nomenclature system 
the name of any organism consist of two void the first void is known as genus which start with capital letters and the second void is known as species which is written in small letter for example if we want to give the name of pea plant so the pea plant scientific name of the pea plant is pisum sativum so here pisum a genus and sativum is a species so friends you will be able to understand the binomial system of nomenclature means the name of any organism consists of two parts first part is known as genus and another parts that is second part is known as species so now we move to the five kingdom system of classification in detail so friends i have already discussed with you that the five kingdom system of classification is proposed by netkar so all organism uh, being divided into the either prokaryote or eukaryote so prokaryote pro means primitive karyon means nucleus so the prokaryotes are the group of organism which are having the primitive nucleus or incipient nucleus or unorganized nucleus these organism are unicellular so the prokaryotes are kept in the kingdom monera on the other hand eukaryotes are the group of organism which may be unicellular as well as multicellular but they have true nucleus or we can say the well defined nucleus so eukaryotes may be the unicellular and unicellular organism with true nucleus or defined nucleus is kept in the kingdom protista so this is the second kingdom on the other hand multicellular organism multicellular means the organism which are made up of many cells so multicellular organism may be with cell wall or without cell wall so the organism which have the true nucleus and they are made up of many cell and having the cell wall but they do not able to perform the photosynthesis means they are not able to produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis that is they are not autotrophic so such organism or such plant groups are kept in the kingdom fungi on the other hand the organism which are multicellular with true nucleus having well defined cell wall but they are able to perform the photosynthesis and by the process of photosynthesis they will be able to produce their own food means they are the autotrophic plant so they are kept in the kingdom plantae in the last fifth kingdom there are the group of organism which are having two nucleus they are multicellular but they did not have the cell wall so they are kept in the kingdom animalia so uh, students there are the five kingdom these kingdom are the monera protista plantae fungi and animalia so let us start with kingdom monera okay uh, sir yes. like you said that uh, we have five kingdoms and uh, we don't have much time left we have got last four minutes left so i don't think we'll be able to uh, talk about all the five kingdoms but uh, let's just begin with one and uh, maybe then we'll continue the same in the next part yes ma'am in the next two minute i would like to explain the monera okay so uh, these organism do not have a defined nucleus or organelle nor do any of them so multicellular body design so uh, the organism which are kept in the monera are very simple they did not have well defined nucleus they did not have the membrane bound cell organelle so in the phylum uh, in the kingdom monera 
usually the organisms are kept like bacteria like blue green algae that is known as cyanobacteria and mycoplasma so uh, students i would like to show the typical picture of the bacteria so this is the typical picture of the bacteria and uh, on the right hand side you will be able to see the typical picture of the blue green algae the name of the blue green algae is anabina so these are the example in this slide you will be also see the structure of the bacteria or a typical external shape of the bacteria but i would like to tell you in one minute that bacteria have different different shape some bacteria are rounded in shape some are having the rod like appearance some have a spherical or some have helical or some have coma shaped so rounded bacteria is known as cocci singular is coccus or rod shaped bacteria are known as bacilli singular is bacillus and spiral shaped bacteria is known as spirillum and coma shaped bacteria is known as vibrio and these are the different shape of bacteria means the bacteria did not have any a flagella like body that is known as atrichus monotrichus had the single flagella if the flagella arise from the both end then amphitrichus lophotrichus is the uh, top top flagella are found at the two uh, side of the bacteria and whole body is covered by bacteria then known as peritrichus and cephalotrichus so uh, these are the various shape of bacteria so friends uh, you are now able to understand why there is a need of the classification because there are the diverse form of the life so to uh, study the organism in a systematic way there is a need of the classification and science of classification is known as taxonomy and father of taxonomy is known as carl von linnaeus a uh, whole uh, the all living organism either plant or animals being classified in the five kingdom these five kingdom are the monera protista planti fungi and animalia we have discussed about the monera so these are the very simple organism and monera usually contains bacteria as well as some extreme bacteria known as archibacteria or uh, eubacteria or as well as some extremophile like methanogen or halophile means salt loving bacteria these bacteria grow in the salt there are some bacteria which grow in the hot water spring like there are the some places where the which are known as natural geyser but there are bacteria are found so these are known as extremophile bacteria and these all organism are kept in the kingdom monera Okay. So, uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, we've got to know that there are various kinds of bacteria. Bacteria are of different shapes. So there's so much to understand to learn about the diversity in living organisms. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us your time on this special day, which is Janmashtami. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, बच्चों. Janmashtami खूब सारी सुख कामनाएं खुश रहें. और पीएमई विद्या को देखते रहे जी आपको भी सर ढेर सारी शुभकामनाएं जन्माष्टमी की हम दर्शकों को थैंक यू कहना चाहेंगे इस कार्यक्रम को देखने के लिए हम उम्मीद करते हैं आपको समझ में आया होगा और क्योंकि अभी बहुत कुछ जाना बाकी है डाइवर्सिटी इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स के बारे में तो इसका पार्ट टू जल्द ही आएगा और फिर हम और बातचीत करेंगे अभी के लिए इस कार्यक्रम को यही खत्म करते हैं थोड़ी देर में हाजिर होंगे हमारी स्पेशल सीरीज ऑन साइबर जागरूकता दिवस लेकर एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन वुड बी डिजिटल गेम्स फिजिकल एंड सोशियो इमोशनल वेलबींग स्टे विद गो एनी वेल टिल देन टेक ग्रेट care of yourself tanvi kurana signing off thank you namaskar